Hi, I'm Jose from Joe Mama Cycles, and we're here today to talk to you about fitting kids' helmets with Laser's Auto Fit uh, Adjustment System. So unlike other helmets that have the dial on the back, Auto Fit is spring-loaded and adjusts to your child's head every time you put it on. What you're gonna do when putting the helmet on, is we're gonna pull this back, Ronan, ready to put your helmet on? We're gonna then slide it on the head, making sure that it's on the forehead first. And we wanna make sure that it's in contact with the forehead, not just his hair in the front. That way, when I move the helmet around, Ronan's head's gonna move with it and it's gonna stay on nice and secure. For the buckles, we're gonna do this up and we wanna make sure that we can get one finger underneath so that we can yawn and open our mouth easily. Hey Ronan, can you open your mouth big and wide for me? There we go. On the side, can you look towards your big brother? We have the V that fits just underneath the ear and keeps it on nice and snug. Now we know that Ronan's got a helmet that's gonna fit him and protect him. We hope that he never has to use it, but we always make sure we wear it. Right, Ronan? About fitting kids' helmets when your kid has a lot of hair like mine does. Teague has offered to be a great model for us today and uh, we're gonna show you how to get that helmet on properly. So the first thing is we need the helmet to be in contact with the forehead, not just the hair. So we need to make sure that we get that hair away from the forehead. Teague, do you mind pulling it away? There we go. Then we're gonna put the helmet on, making sure that it's in contact with the forehead, about two fingers above his eyebrow. Now you'll notice if we move the helmet, his head's moving with it. So we know we've got a good fit up front the, uh, and that the helmet's gonna stay put. If the helmet doesn't have auto fit and it has a regular adjustable fit system like this Giro helmet does, we're gonna start the same way. And Teak, can you pull your hair away for me? And then we're gonna put the helmet on so again, it's in contact with the forehead, not just the hair. And then we're gonna adjust the buck, the fit system so that it's snug, but not tight. Should fit like a ball cap. The child should be able to bend over without the helmet falling off. The, uh, and that's gonna keep it nice and still. And just like the other one, when I move the helmet, Teague's head's gonna move with it. This is a much better fit because we can see, if we look at the side of Teague, Teague, do you mind turning towards me? There we go. We can see that it's fitting a little lower on his head and gonna give him extra protection. 